Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and welcome to my Black Demon Slayer guide. So in this guide, I'm going to show you guys how to kill Black Demons, which are one of the better XP tasks that Kuridil assigns. Money-wise, they're not amazing, going from about 800k an hour if you don't pick up the ashes or bank the ashes, to about 2 mil an hour if you do bank the ashes. Obviously, you'd probably do this with either a yak or magic notepaper. And the Slayer XP per hour is 120 to 160k. 120 is pretty much without cannon, and 160k is with using cannon. Of course, this is with at least level 80 gear and if you don't have that it's going to be a bit slower but you can still use the basic setup that i show you in the locations that i show you in this guide even if you do have lower level gear and just realize that the slayer xp per hour will be a bit slower the charms are pretty good they drop they have a high drop rate for crimson charms and you can kill them very fast you can expect about 150 or so crimsons an hour so before we start killing the black demons you want to know what to wear when you are ready to kill them so i showed a mage and range setup you can use melee with drygors however drygors are fairly inaccurate at black demons and you will splash sometimes even when on task splash or miss whatever you want to call it so i'd recommend to go for mage or range mage is obviously the fastest way to kill them if you can get a high enough accuracy to hit them all the time or if your accuracy is lower and you can't hit them all the time for example if you don't have a great mage weapon then range is the way to go so these are the two gear setups that i'd recommend which are kind of mid-level level 80 gear of course if you you have seismics or if you have the ascension crossbows you can upgrade i just chose not to show them and then in the inventories the one on the left hand side is the cannon inventory just infernal urns and a cannon and on the right hand side is the regular inventory for not cannoning if you do choose to cannon i'd recommend to range over mage as the range armor has much better defense against the black demons attacks and you'll have a much easier time um staying alive there especially if you don't have the vampirism aura or if your vampirism aura is on cooldown so the place that I would recommend to kill demons and probably the easiest to access is in Taverly Dungeon. Now there is another place to kill them which does not require an agility level to easily access and I will show that after I show the Taverly Dungeon. However, for most people, if you have at least 70 agility or if you're patient enough to be willing to run all throughout Taverly Dungeon using the dusty key method, this is the place where you want to go. So if you're only 70 agility, just go through the obstacle pipe that leads you into the blue dragons. Don't worry, they won't flame you. They are not aggressive. so you don't have to worry about that or if you're 80 agility you can jump over the strange floor like i do in the video and go south into the room with the large amount of black demons this spot is very well known and is often crowded so just be aware that you might have to hop a few times to find a decent world to kill the black demons on but once you're here it's very quick to a bank so especially if you forget something which i seem to do almost every single task you can always just run back to a bank and come back quickly or anything like that i always seem to forget infernal urns when i do black demon tasks for whatever reason um, however, you just want to use the basic strategy of getting up to either your sunshine or death swiftness ability as quickly as possible and just go ham on the demons and it's very good XP and a fairly quick task. Now, if you don't have 70 agility, but you do have 70 engineering, or if it's just some sort of Slayer promotional weekend going on, there's a ton of people slaying or anything like that. Another good place to kill black demons is in the chaos tunnels. I used to kill them here a lot. There's only four black demon spawns. However, if you do have 70 engineering, you can access a secret entrance with a whole ton of black demon spawns and it's actually a really good place to kill them. Unfortunately, you can't cannon here because it would be a great place to cannon if you could, but you just want to follow the route that I took, go into the little mysterious entrance there and tons of black demons and and this will almost always be empty and completely to yourself. So if you would like to cannon black demons, that is something that can also be done as well. The only real good place you can cannon them is in Taverly Dungeon. So you just want to choose the uh, gear setup and inventory setup that I showed earlier in the video. Again, remember to range as you'll get hit a lot less wearing range armor than mage armor as it has better magical defense. And then the strategy here is you want to pray range or pray mage, excuse me. And you want to either activate your vampirism aura or just have a bunch of food and a yak or some sort of beast of burden. Again, if you use like a war tortoise, it can get killed. So just watch out for that. Um, but generally when you're praying mage, the demons really do do not hit very hard at all so the vampirism aura should be able to heal back all of it or just a few pieces of food will be fine as well there is another method of killing black demons that i chose not to show because it's a little bit slower but it is pretty much just about afk you can do an entire black demons task with only clicking a couple times and you can legitimately leave your computer and have the task just done for you so if you want to know how to afk black demons just click on the link on screen now and that'll take you to my guide on how to afk black demons with revolution if you want to try that out i wouldn't recommend it because it is you know significantly slower than killing them the normal way however if you're just kind of lazy or if you need a relaxation break from slayer and your fingers are getting tired you can definitely try that out so just click on the guide to see how to do it. 
And it's time to show off the rewards for this task. It took almost half an hour. Again, if you use a candle, it'll be quite a bit faster. However, I chose not to. I chose first to price check it with the ashes. And if I had banked the ashes, which I chose not to because I used Infernal Urns, it would be a little over 1.1 mil. And without the ashes, it's about 500k. So not exactly amazing money, but it is decent if you do choose to bank those ashes. Anyway, that's about all for this guide. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and farewell.